Okay, so I wanted to give you a couple of tips uh, in order to find your proper size in redback boots. And the first thing you'll need to know is that redbacks come in UK or Australian sizing. Uh, so for guys, we'll need to go down one size to get your uh, redback size. So if you're a 10, you would be uh, nine in redback boots. And for ladies, uh, you would go down three sizes to get your redback size. And so if you are a women's size eight, you would be a five in redback. The first thing you want to check for is length. So once you've got your foot down inside the boot, uh, we want to make sure the length is right. The boot will not stretch in length. So what we want you to do is, because we've got a, a, a toe cap inside our boots here, I can't really feel where your toe is. I need you to kick your foot so your toes are touching the front of the boot. And we're looking for but a pencil width behind the Achilles tendon in the back of the boot. One thing to note is that our hole and our half sizes, so my women's five, my women's five and a half, are the same length, okay? Hole sizes, same, hole and half sizes, same length. The half size gives you more volume in the boot. So more room on the instep, more room on the width. So if you've got a wide foot, or if you're going to put an orthotic down inside your red backs, you'll definitely wanna go with the half size red back size. So with the toes at the very front, we're looking for about a pencil width or about a pinky finger of space behind the Achilles tendon to make sure that the length is right. Uh, the great thing about Redbacks is the, the, the leather quality is phenomenal. Uh, the, the leathers are 2.6 to 2.7 mil thick, very supple leathers. And like any good leather product, it will give and mold and shape to the, to the shape of your foot, uh, giving you a custom fit. There's three types of scenarios for this. Uh, first person, gonna go dancing out the door, everything's great, there's no break in time really at all. Second person, it's gonna be about a week to two weeks uh, for you to, to, to stretch the boot and to make it give to the shape of your foot. And then third person, you might actually have to put a boot stretcher down inside the boot and uh, put it in there for about 48 hours and, and give yourself a head start on, on stretching the boot out. Um, any good shoe store or leather uh, smith will have a, a, a boot stretcher in, in shop and uh, you know that's probably you know one in ten customers might need to actually do that. Uh, so now we're going to fit up um, Joel here just on his boots and just make sure that they, uh, they have the proper fit for him. Okay so once again we want to check to make sure that the length is right first. So we're going to get you to kick your toes so they're right towards the front of the boot right on and bend the knee forward and we're looking for about a pinky finger behind the Achilles tendon. That's a perfect amount of room. Now we know the length is right so I'll just get to you to come back off the front of the boot You're back in the heel counter here and now we're checking across the top of the boot and it's just a little bit snug in through here. We obviously know we're going to stretch and mold that boot in through here. We're wearing the nine and a half right now. It's the perfect fit. I think if he was in the whole size in the nine boot, it would be a little too snug across here. So actually we've got the perfect fit boot right here. Length is right. We're gonna have a good, little bit of stretch and molding across the top of the boot.